everything's been going well for November. I'm here to give you a reading for November 2020 to help give you um, the most helpful insight to make it through the rest of November. Um, again, this is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate for whatever reason, I would advise to um, take a look at your rising sign um, as well. Without further ado, we'll get right into this. So it appears it as um, it appears to show here with the cards that you're not wanting to give into something anymore. In the month of November. Or you want to just give more to yourself um, anyways and invest more in yourself. Could possibly want to treat yourself as well. Because in the past, things may not have felt as if they were fair. For some of you, and maybe some of you in the past, I feel like there wasn't any justice or there's still some type of pending justice in a situation. So I feel like you just may be reprioritizing. In the near future, you can expect some type of message to come to you um, of something that will impact you emotionally. Um, for a lot of you, this may be a message in regards to love. But um, for the majority of you, it's going to be a message of love. Um, for a few of you, it's just going to be more just about some type of emotional fulfillment or something that stirs your your emotions in a positive manner um, here in the near future. Which I think will be refreshing for you because in the past, um, you may have been carrying quite a heavy burden. Or I'm sorry, currently you're carrying a heavy, bur heavy burden. And I think you're looking to just, again, reprioritize and, um, and really just lighten your load because I feel like you know that you deserve better. Um, than what the past has given you or is yet to give, or is yet to give you that be future. Um, in the past that what you've dealt with, um, so I do see a sense, uh, feel a sense of reprioritizing, prioritizing things. And it may be helpful to, um, for some of you speak with a uh, Virgo, but generally speaking, um, I feel like a lot of you could benefit from speaking to somebody who may be able to look maybe even a little too much into the details of a situation um, that you might be dealing with. Um, they may nitpick, but they may able, be able to find something that you weren't able to notice. Um, again, for some of you, this could be some type of, um, maybe you have something going on the course, maybe some type of paperwork, um, something with your business, um, or maybe some type of evidence in regards to something. Um, 
that you've been wanting to get clarity on? Um, I feel like you just need to talk to somebody who might just be like overly, it may even be annoying, but you need to find somebody who can really, really dig into those details and notice the things, um, even maybe possibly give some um, constructive uh, feedback uh, in regards to some type of plans that you have, especially as, as you're trying to refigure things out um, because it's one of those things where you need to work smarter, not harder. You don't need to be putting all this effort in and be tired and worn out in a situation. Um, you need to organize your thoughts um, so you can get this burden lifted off of you. Um, again, this is a general reading, so this can be to your, in regards to your relationship, business, job, family. Um, and I feel like the thing that might be getting in your way in this situation is this feeling of there not being any hope. Um, I feel like, and, and, and I will say like sometimes things will feel like there's no hope, but it will redirect you on a path that provides hope. So. Um, but I just feel like right now that feeling of not having hope in a situation is kind of been disheartening for you and making things even more heavier than they feel already. The best thing you can do is to invest in something new. Invest in something new and, and know that you might not be clear on regards to what that new thing is that you want to do. But start just trying new things. Put yourself out there. Um, invest in something new. Um, take your time with it. Don't feel the need to rush. Um, but doing something new will be very beneficial for you right now. Um, And you need to either start doing more work on yourself um, or maybe step, step back from another situation, again, that you've been working a lot on um, that, for example, would be providing this heavy burden here for you. We have the Oracle card, um, Joy. Which is a great card to have. Joy is a state of... The heart and soul. Joy happens when the heart and the soul unite. This union is to achieve expansion for a greater good related to your divine path. Joy can create in um, joy can create in you a sense of contentment, acceptance, and serenity. Even when your life is in flux, you feel a deep knowing that whatever might happen will be for the highest good for all involved. When you have the knowledge in you, it brings spiritual determination. Even though difficult circumstances such as those that you may currently be undergoing, you will ultimately find your happiness. Through this card, Ganesha acknowledges your stress, mm -hmm, right here with that Ten of Wands, your stress um, and exhaustion as you work to adapt to new patterns of behavior and release your old stories. You may not be happy right now um, but you can experience joy in knowing that striving through a difficult situation is important. You are urged to realize that you came into this lifetime to undergo certain experiences and to learn very specific life lessons. Be honest with yourself. Allow yourself your feelings and emotions. Remember that if your heart is feeling wounded and it's healing and, and its healing is taking place, you're likely grappling with deep feelings and sentiments. That may have been repressed in your, your you for lifetimes. Share your thoughts, feelings, and emotions um, and anxieties with those who can support you at this time. Joy is the final outcome. Your energy and your inner light are shifting to reveal your life's grand plan. 
Um, and this card getting show holds garlands made of Aruku flowers, which have the ability to eliminate um, negative energy from the body and mind of a person. In your mind's eye, make an offering of garlands made of Aruku flowers to Ganesha. In exchange, Ganesha blesses you with the good health and freedom from ailments. I think that is a really, I think that really goes well with what your reading is showing right now. Um, and it's really a great way to end this reading. So um, I won't put too much weight on this, but um, I do show with this reading that you could possibly be dealing with a Libra, um, a Virgo, or a Leo, or an Aquarius. Um, so I do see um, major life changes um, here for you as well. Let's see if there's anything else that stands out. Now I think um, overall kind of just reflecting on that Oracle card, um, again, I do see you are going through, you know, some stressful and heavy times. Um, but I do feel like, although it might not be clear the direction you're going, um, I feel like once you begin something new, um, I feel like you will be in an, a happy place. I think you just need to get through whatever hard times that you're going through now, but I do see positivity in the future for you most certainly, Taurus. Um, I look forward to doing a reading for you guys in December to see how things are going or see if there's something else I can help you guys with. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys next month.